Well, this time of the year, the brightest object in the night sky, aside from the moon, is actually the planet Jupiter, and amateur stargazers and astronomers will have an excellent chance to check out this planet and its moons as it approaches what we call opposition. So first, Jupiter dubbed the king of the planets, the largest planet in the solar system. It is the fourth brightest object in the sky, aside from the sun, the moon, and the planet Venus. And on November 3rd, this week, it will approach the position of what we call opposition. Now, this uh, means that this will be easily viewed uh, with we, if you have a binoculars or a small telescope, you may not only be able to see the planets, but you may be able to catch the four Galilean moons. So what is opposition? Well, it all has to do with where the planet lies relative to the sun and Earth. So when a planet reaches opposition, that means it is a direct line with the sun or, and the Earth. So it's basically on the other side of the Earth relative to the Sun. And so what this usually means is that if you are able to have a pair of binoculars or a small telescope, you typically get the best viewing when a planet is at opposition. And typically this is the time when it's closest in its orbit. But Jupiter is very special because it's not only the planet that you may be able to see, but you may be able to spot its four major moons. That would be Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. They would appear as four very tiny specks of light on either side of the planet. So make sure you find some time as we head towards the end of the week and the weekend to check out Jupiter at Opposition.